What's with all the soldiers? Did someone tip them off? We need to warn Yorvith. Skoletta! Or not. Onward! Mutant. Think yourself a hero, do you? Sail away, and I'll burn these sluts alive! We sail. Our women are prepared to die. But I'm not prepared to let murder happen. I'm going ashore.
escaped. He'll not live long. If the local folk don't hunt him down, someone else will. It's meaningless. You rescued our women. We are indebted. Help me find the Kingslayer and Triss. We'll be even. In that case, to Vergen. Prepare to set sail! Let's go. Unfurl the mainsail! We made it. This is just the beginning. But you chose the right side, and I think. Wish I could be so sure. Very true. He kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fultus' life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Fergan's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoia'tael. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help, helpful, that's not nice. Highly useful then. Remember the stillness when the news reached Vengerberg. The palace, the streets, the houses, the entire capital cloaked in silence. The cries were here, every last man. I was somewhere beyond that hill, in the middle of the massacre. What is your intention, Saskia? I intend to stop Eden from being sold. We cannot afford a war with Henselt. We must parley. Leave issues of war to me, Prince. Concentrate on King Henselt. Yarpin Ziggling claims he's short-tempered. Provoke him to strike, and we'll negotiate once the battle's won. I still cannot fathom why the nobles betrayed us. Spit on the nobles, Prince. They've meant nothing since the day my peasant force scattered them on the Diffney. By the good deity Creve, my lord. The girl is a demon incarnate. Firstly, the girl has a name. Secondly, she's the best commander I have. All others have betrayed me. She's a monster. Creve spoke to me in a dream. I saw a snake like she did devour your heritage. Silence, Olcan. We near the meeting place. We shall sign everything, Your Majesty. As you. We have guests. Welcome, Stennis, son of Demavend. I invite you. Greetings, Henselt. You seem at home in Edurn. You are here, yet I do not recall inviting you. Ferrat did so in your stead. I'm here at his behest. I've broken no truces or treaties yet. Oh, is that so? Mr. Brogan, please escort Count Ferrat to a secluded spot and remove his troublesome head. Don't you dare, boy! You're no king! Your father! My father is dead. The folk still mourn him while you betray his good name and his country. Your Majesty, I must request your protection. This young man has lost his mind. Take him away. Your Majesty, what of our agreement? I need you no longer, Ferret, now Stennis is here. Anyone else wish to object? Wonderful. To the matter at hand, then. Well said. I will show you my hand. I've over 200 armed men in camp nearby, enough to hold the fort for several hours. 
Another 5,000 battle-hungry lads await on the other bank. What say you to that? In attacking Edirne, you would break the provisions of the Peace of Sintra. All the northern kingdoms will be obliged to support me. None will stand with you. Radovid of Redania, the Dukes of the South. You dream, boy. They're not to be counted on. And the treaty? I piss on it as do they. You are alone. Not entirely. I'll stay out of this, Saskia. Well, well, she has a voice. Saskia the Dragon Slayer. You're much prettier than they claim. You'll need to throw in the last two. Peasants should work the fields, not rebel and burn down the estates of their masters. It's to your advantage to give her up. I'll not allow it. This land is under my protection. If no one else has the courage to stand up to you, I will. Listen well, King. You have one hour to quit Upper Eden with your forces. If you fail to do so, it's war. If but one Kudweni soldier remains on this land one minute past the deadline, it's war. You will instruct your heralds to proclaim around and about that you apologize to the people of Eden for this shameful incursion. Otherwise, it's war. <laughs> You've got balls, woman. My soldiers would call me a coward or a madman. I am Hensilt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even a dragon slayer. That apart, you're a pretty fetching lass. I want this land. I want its gold. And I want you, dragon slayer. Grab them! <laughs> In the name of Kreev, Freyr, and Militele! By the milk of Mother Creatrix's tits, Geralt of Rivia, and the best company to boot, Yarpin Zigrin. It's been years, you old prick. It's great to see you in good health. Geralt, staring as if you've seen a ghost. Muster up a hug for an old friend! Geralt's head's not exactly on straight. Ha! Meaning he truly did in, Foltest. Fine by me! Foltest was a plowing niggard and a niggardly plower. You did right, Geralt. Not the point. Geralt's lost his memory. And I didn't kill Foltest. Right, right. What's the difference? Someone did. But we're bigger problems now. Where's Saskia? Oh, aye. Why is this butcher here? I've come with a hundred archers, the best in the world. We're here to aid your cause. Well, you'll need to wait. Saskia and Prince Penis, sir, uh, rather, Skinnis, went off to parley with Henselt. Me and the boys are waiting in case something goes wrong. The 
sun's gone dark. Call the sorceress! Come, Geralt.
hate flying through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Temeria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. I want to see all commanders in the council chamber. Philippa, that includes you and the Witcher. Cecil, the gates are to remain shut until we're done. You'll answer with your beard if they open for any reason. Welcome to Vergen, Witcher. I'm Cecil Burden, the Alderman. Geralt of Rivia. We've got a spare room at the inn. It's not much, but uh, at least you'll have a roof over your head and a solid bed neath your arse. Thanks. I could use that. Scalen, show Master Geralt to his quarters, and visit Reverend Alkin's chambers on your way back to inform everyone that uh, he has departed. That is, that he died a hero, slain by the invaders. Exactly. You see, Master Witcher? He's young but clever. We'll make a real dwarf out of him yet. Another one. Hello, Chief. You're like one human in and in no time you've got a swarm. Like ants they are. I heard human women need only sit astride a man's pants for their bellies to lift. Slug it between the eyes! This shall be your chamber, Witcher. They say Silkirk of Gullet himself slept in this bed before battle. Didn't bring him any luck, but at least he was well rested before he died. Need anything else? Thanks, Skaven.
You missed quite a scrap, gentlemen, and an opportunity to slay a monarch. There was a struggle and the prince was wounded. You've all seen the magical phenomenon covering the battlefield. For any who still have doubts, this is no mundane mist, nor a petty fairground illusion. Most likely, we're up against a blood curse, an old and powerful spell. We do not know who cast it or why. For now, I have one piece of good news and several pieces of bad news. The good news is that Henselt and his army have been halted for the time being. And the bad news? The mist will grow. It may even engulf Vergen. Furthermore, wraiths may emerge from it. Can they be made penitent? With an axe to the head? In theory, yes. But I would suggest putting your faith in a silver weapon. Furthermore, the ghosts will weaken as they move away from the mist. Is there any way to drive it off? Exorcise it? A question for myself and Geralt of Rivia. The Kingslayer? Contrary to what old women at the wells say, he did not, in fact, slay any kings. Of course he didn't. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Look at his eyes. You'll see he's the sensitive kind. Whatever you may see in his eyes, few know more about lifting curses. Gentlemen, I do not require you to understand this phenomenon, but there are a few rules I insist you must follow. Here we go. No one is to approach the mist. It is mortally dangerous. In addition, we need to learn the story of the battle. For this, I especially count on the aid of Mr. Cecil Burden. At your service, my lady. Thank you. To lift the curse, we require some objects symbolic of the war. Ones belonging to those who perished here three years past. Pfft! More scrap iron from that massacre lying about than lice in Cecil's beard. I thought curses were best handled with... Please leave the thinking to me, Mr. Zigrin, and I'd gladly hear less from you from now on. The objects must be magically active and strictly linked to the ghosts of the Fallen. That is all. Let me be clear, you're all to aid Philippa and the Witcher. What are you grumbling about now, Yarpen? Uh, <clears throat> it's uh, something in my gullet. Take a swig of wine. Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200, but don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come, though you'll get no precise count. My lords? Fifty-three knights and another two hundred armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads five thousand, five to one against us. What think you of that? We are few, they are many. But we have our walls, low though they be. If we had archers, who knows? Oh, for a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria! We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. Gentlemen, I give you Jorvith. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit-coated stick can be a weapon. But he burned down the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the Northern Realms? This is too much. Saskia, say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him, and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf! Treason runs in his veins! He's been fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard, for the Valley of the Flowers, in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls. And elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. 
They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Yorvath to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kedweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile, if only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. Yorvath stays. Bloody hell. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. I say I. Nay, you killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, I! Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! She's dying. Take her somewhere safe and guard her with your lives. I'll gather what I need and join you soon. I'll place my best warriors on watch. Quickly, lads! A letter! She ceased casting spells. Saskia, is she alive? In a manner of speaking, I have slowed her life functions as far as possible. Her condition is stable. Do you know the poison? Thormador, commonly known as Mage Pain. It has a terrible reputation. An antidote must exist. What can we do? Treatment will require herbs, magic, and blood. Not ordinary blood, I presume. Correct. We require royal blood. We could use letho right now. The nearest king is on the other side of the Mist of Wraiths. You misunderstood me. It need not be the blood of a ruling monarch. It is the genotype contained in royal blood that is required. Kings issue from ancient dynasties. Over the ages, to survive, rulers needed exceptional resistance and strength. As royal dynasties rarely admit common blood, the strength of their genes remains great. I shall employ self-healing genetic therapy that will teach Saskia's body how to rid itself of the poison. You'll have a drink human blood. No, I shall inject it directly into her heart. What kind of herbs are we talking about? I'll need a subterranean variety of purple foxglove, known to the dwarves as the Immortel, and an elven rose of remembrance. Where will we find Immortels? They grow deep beneath the earth, which should not be a problem as Vergen lies on top of a mine. How will they help Saskia? Mage pain wreaks havoc in internal tissues. The Immortel will help restore them. Hmm. Triss had a rose of remembrance. She claimed the flowers are exceptional. Long ago, the Enshe who succeeded in cultivating the roses enjoyed great respect. Times have changed. As have elves. There are no elven gardens nearby. We must return to Flotsam. Triss has a Rose of Remembrance from Flotsam. It's her we need to find. What else do you need to heal Saskia? Thormador is a self-perpetuating substance. Any incursion into a cluster of poisoned cells causes an immediate chain reaction. Each tainted cell that is removed is replaced by ten new tainted cells. To interrupt this reaction, I'll need an ungodly amount of the power. A water or air genie or one of the 20 legendary rings of power would be best. <laughs> one to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. Right. And then I'll have to run barefooted to the top of a volcano. All right, all right. Let's forget the rings. I need a vast quantity of the power, no matter the source. Find something. 
An immortelle, a rose of remembrance, royal blood and magic sounds like a fairy tale. A poor one at that. No prince's kiss to top things off. I wish it were a fairy tale, especially a poor one, as a happy ending would then be inevitable. May I count on your help, Geralt? You may. What about the Battle of Wraiths? I must first see if the spells keeping Saskia alive are in order. Then we'll consider how best to send the Spectres to their rest. Actually, you could tend to that yourself. Ask the locals about the battle, maybe you'll learn something. In that case, I shall search for the Poisoner. Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. Don't let her die, Vampire. People of Vergen, we have a magical mist full of ghosts just outside our walls. So you'd better think twice before entering it. The mist? May the plague take it. Threatens all manner of creatures. So anyone headed to the quarries or walking through the galleys should take exceptional heed. The squirrels that have made camp by the burnt huts are not our enemies. So says Saskia. So it is. Master Geralt of Rivia and Sorceress Philippa Isleheart will deal with the mist and the wraiths. And now, open the gates and get to work. I must talk to you, Witcher. What's going on? I'm Elias, of Jorveth's Commando. I have an urgent matter. Tell me. Men from Vergen have been disappearing for some time. We recently found some of their corpses, so it doesn't seem to be desertion. Only men among the victims? Young men, humans and elves. Where did you find the bodies? In different places, mainly in the burned village near the ravine that leads to the town. I need to see the corpses. They're all buried. Where? Beneath a mound in the forest behind Vergen, but you shouldn't go there. Why not? Desecrating graves is a serious offense. The families of the dead will be furious. What state were the bodies in? They looked gruesome. Nothing an elf would have done, nor a human. I don't work for free. You'll get your reward. Do well, and I may give you something more than coin. We're losing good men. See you. Let me tell you about the woman. Get up! Come on! Geralt, sit down. We haven't yet celebrated your raid into the mist. Ah, sorry, sorry. Where are my manners? Sheldon Skaggs, veteran of the battles of Sodden and Brenna. And all lands along the way. You've already met Vergen's elder? Greetings. Gentlemen, not sure about you, but my throat's parched from all these greetings. Funny, those were the first words out of your mouth. Master Dandelion's right. Around for everyone! On me! I'd gladly drink, but Saskia was poisoned, and time is of the essence. How can we help? Speak! Have you ever heard of a plant called the Dwarven Immortal? Have we? The pegs have tight arses. To tell the truth, I've no idea, Skies. I was just a saying. You're the only one using it. Witcher, the Immortel. It appears most often near anthracite and aluminosilicate deposits. Philippa needs it to heal Saskia. A rare curio, but there's a mine nearby, and who knows? They might find it deep underground. Why are you dwarves fighting for Saskia? If I had a knack for business, I'd be sitting in my arse in my own inn, not giving a shit for this war. And what's my trade? At 
neck swinging. That's what. And if I could get killed, I'd rather know what I'm risking my neck for. The woman's cuckoo. Ready to spit in the Emperor's face, even. But I have to admit, she knows all about Warcraft. And damn it, she's right. Free Vergen. No matter if you're a dwarf, man, or mangy elf. Do you hear him, Zigrun? Down in the elves already. But I bet he wouldn't sniff at 30 additional archers in battle. Is the mine far? Not at all. It's in Vergen itself, in the town's upper quarter. You're eager for this expedition, but uh, nobody told the Witcher that the mine's closed. Closed? That's true. But it's long overdue a cleaning. Weed out all the underground shit. What are you talking about? Not a month ago, miners started disappearing. Must have tapped the wrong vein and woken some scum from the deep. We wanted to send a crew of stout fellows in, but Saskia said she needs all the soldiers she can find up top and ready to defend the town. We closed the shaft, fearing the filth would emerge and overrun us all. Looks like we arrived just in time, eh, Geralt? So it seems. Let's go. Right on. With this crew, we needn't fear any monster. How about you, Sheldon? You coming with us, or staying around to get your fuck? Another chance like this won't come around in a hurry. Fucking can wait. I am with you. Let's meet at the mine's entrance. Regards! Good weather. You wet your wet recently, Witcher. Would you be kind enough to move that ass of yours? Belly full, axe sharpened, and liquor awaits. Ready for battle. I wouldn't mind a drink about now.
How are things? The Witcher's on board. We can go. Let's get to work, my bearded friends. Open the shaft, Skags. If you kill off those monsters, the whole of Vergen will be grateful. I'm sure some coin would be found. We'll keep that in mind, Cecil. So, Sheldon, you opened the shaft yet? Keep your pricks in your trousers. You can't just plow forward all the time. A mine is like a lover. You need to be gentle, so she accepts you moist and hard. You and your music, Sheldon. Close. What was that? Necrophages. With this many appearing, they must have a nest nearby. Come on! Show yourselves! I'll let you taste my axe! Oh. You wet your wet recently, Witcher. We should get together for a good libation.
Let's grab what we need and get over. Dwarfs get three things to do in life. Build a fortress, cut down an oak, and plough. Regularly. No time for idle chatter. We should get together for a good libation. Right, get out. Looks like it's all over. Thanks for your help, Zoltan. Say nothing of it. Enough yapping. Time for some vodka. First, I want to see if my fuck date's still waiting. Just don't strain yourself. It takes energy to drink with us too, you know. Eva! Eh? That's a witcher, not a human. So, no snaps. Nope. 